you know, before we start this video right here, I just want all the mother truckers to know that, you know, Troy is a good friend. His grandfather was the one that nicknamed him Bocephus. And because of that, he dedicated this truck to him. And this is the type of trucking that he does for his company and his livelihood. But, you know, off camera, he did tell me that his grandpa recently passed away. And so this truck is extra special. And so, yeah, let's get into this. Honest with you, you know, you and I talked off camera about the market and how tough it is right now with, with rates and fuel and insurance. Uh, so, I mean, we're feeling it too. And, and I almost didn't bring the trucks out because, you know, on or off camera, uh, at work or at home, man, I'm I, like, I feel it. Like, I feel it for you guys watching right now because I experience it too. So, our insurance run rates, you know, before January were excellent. Like, we had one little claim last year. We were so good. And my insurance went up 25%. 25%? 25%. Plus 370 something or what have you, I trucks. Mean, and so, we had these meetings, all these meetings with the insurance carriers, and we're like, how do you justify this? So they, they justified it by saying that because we had such a great year, they anticipate a bad year this year. And they just raised you. And they just raised you. And, and that, so what are you going to do? And that could put you out of business. That could yeah. put a, a trucking company. So, so you know, what, what's your advice to people that, you know, about saving their money? And save, save, save. Cash is king. I mean, cash is king. Watch your bank account. Make good choices with your interest rates and and scale up as you can pay cash for as much I, and, and so that's a i just contradicted myself and I, I and i want the viewers to understand cash is king but debt's bad too so if you get too much debt then you can harm your business too because you've got so many payments so try to save as much as you can as you're scaling up but when you can pay cash I love no. That's great advice, brother. And that's and, that's real advice. And, and and nobody can make that decision for you or when it's right mm -hmm. to cash or finance mm -hmm. except you. Right. And the only thing, the best advice I give you is learn. You know, we talked about this off camera too. Learn from your mistakes. Don't repeat it. Learn from other people's mistakes. If you find someone who failed, go go befriend them and find out. You know, say, hey, I'm not here to to judge you. I just want to know what you do wrong so I don't do it. I know I love that. No, that's good advice, you know. And and for people that don't know, you know, we've had interviews before, but people might not have seen those, you know. Hater may still the baddest truck in the world. Uh oh. Uh oh. Quick promotion. <laughs> We're back to you. So uh, no, when it comes down to it though, really it's like, you know, some people they might just see you on the internet and think that you're a guy that just started out with a whole bunch of money. Right. They don't realize that you started with one I, truck. I get the comments. The, I, the comments on my social media is, is, you know, must be nice to have daddy's money. Must be nice to be born with a silver spoon. Man, we grew up in a double wide. I mean, we ate. We didn't go without any meals, but we ate leftovers three or four nights a week because mom cooked big meals and we just kept eating them and you you went from one meal and you made it into the next meal and you made it in by, by the fourth night you had tacos you know I, you, you just shove it in a flour tortilla and, and call it a taco but i mean you know i had i had a great upgrade there, there's there's nothing bad about it I, we didn't know we were broke right but that's the best time in your but, life i mean we were just living you know you got you know, you got one pair of tennis shoes per year, 1995 Jordashes. And, <laughs> and, and your toes will start poking out the end of them. And, I mean, we didn't know. We were just happy, you know? And, you know, and well, <laughs> one story I love, brother, that you told before yeah. to me is I remember you worked for a company, you told me, and tell me if you remember this story. And the, they pretty much came in and wanted to fire everybody. And, and you said something yep. to yourself. People got to hear this part of the story. Yeah, I mean, so. So this is one of those times like when when I had to really remember that that you have to do the right thing and 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 practice what you preach and be humble and and so the 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 quick story is uh, uh back in 07 when we all felt it the worst um I I had to go drive for someone else 
It was a larger company and we were sitting in, having a safety meeting and we were sitting in the break room and uh, the regional manager came in to tell us how bad we were doing, you know, beating on us. And anyways, I think some of the other guys weren't really hearing it. And, uh, and I know his name and I know the company name and I'm not gonna say it, but, but uh, I remember like it was yesterday we were broke man we were broke i had kids little kids and my wife was depending on me and and uh man i'll tell you one thing that sucker he sat right there and he pointed at us and he told us if we don't like it there's the mf and door he had a stack of applications this thick he can have us replaced in two minutes truckers are a dime a dozen we're worthless blah 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 and four or five people walked out and um I couldn't. I mean, man, what's man. that feeling when, uh, I feel when, it. you know I what I mean? Feel it right now, when, 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 when you're so broke that a guy is talking uh, to your face, and and basically talking down to you, uh, you and you still it. couldn't leave. Oh, uh, I feel it right now. Oh man, it kills me. <laughs> and uh, man, I'll tell you what. So fast forward, right? So we started building the company up. And we're growing and growing and growing. Well, we started the company. Yeah. All right, skip the step. We started the company, my wife and I, four trucks. And uh, we started building and growing and growing and growing. And I had this incredible opportunity to buy this company. <laughs> and I wanted so bad to go stand in that room and take a video and say, I told you. Which I didn't tell him anything. It was in my mind. I didn't tell anybody anything because I needed my job, right? right. But uh, I wanted so bad to go say, "Yeah, here we are now. Where where are you at?" And uh, but I didn't because it, it's just not right. And and I've never said that on camera, and I probably shouldn't say it. But but uh, I guess the moral to the story is always do what's right because somebody's watching. Love it. Somebody's always watching, so just oh, do man. what's right. And and if there's somebody, if there's somebody trying to to get you out of character, then just just rise above and just go on. At at the end of the day, man, you're better than that. You don't have to stoop down to their level, whether they got money or not. I mean, just man, just be the bigger person. I love it, man. This this story is such amazing, you know. Oh man, yeah, at least look see this, man. Troy Massey, I mean, you know, let's go, you know. There we go. What's going on, Mother Truckers? We're here at Mid-America Truck Show 2023. We're hanging out with the legendary Troy Massey. I mean, he got a couple whips here today, so we got to check this out. How you doing, sir? Oh, man, good. So uh, I just pulled this out for the first time, and I think they misprinted on here. They misspelled something because they look what they put on there. VIP? I don't, I don't know why they put that. <laughs> It sounds really good though. Yeah. Yeah, shout out to Matt for yeah. making a man feel special. That's right, that's right. So we got a couple of trucks here and we want to just show you some love, brother, because you've been giving back to this industry and we just want to give you your flowers while you're here. Man, so, I appreciate it. You know, so what we got behind you? Well, we've got uh, Lot Right. Everybody knows Lot Right. Uh, most everyone knows the story that, you know, it, it you know, a uh, buddy of mine, Bruce Wilson, called the other day, and, and it was kind of funny because uh, he's he's pretty famous on social media, and he said, bro, you got to stop with the drama. And I was like, <laughs> I said, what, what are we talking about? And he said, uh, the motor, like, like, just tone it down a little bit. It's too much. I was like, that's actually not drama that's true you know and for people that don't know i'll show you guys links to all their social media right before the big show they're motor blown <laughs> motor blow number two cylinder uh so uh, uh last monday morning we pulled the hood off we we exchanged a whole motor block and everything and put it back in and we were test driving on wednesday so you know, shout out to the shop. I was elbow deep in there with them, enjoying every minute of it. I enjoy that kind of stuff. And, uh, you know, we, we pulled together and we got it. And, and honestly, we it, it ran great. So we uh, we did a good job. I love it, man. So let's, let's walk around this, yeah. man. So this is your pride and joy right here. This is my pride and joy right here. This is a 2014. And and uh, it, a, lot of the, a lot of the guys watching right now, 
So you'll probably, if, if you watch any of my channels, you'll know that this is the first truck that I was able to buy something for. So I ran the road, <clears throat> a couple of buddies of mine, we used to go to Oxnard, California and back weekly. And I had a, just a regular old work truck. And, and uh, man, I was that guy that, that I just dreamed of eight inch straight stacks and a set of stainless half enders. I mean, I just thought, boy, one day I'm gonna make it. and. I just want a set of half fenders and, and a set of straights and I, I want to be like, you know, like the big truckers out there and and uh, uh, and sadly enough, uh, uh, the market went down and got worse and worse and worse and then years and years later, the market got better and, you know, we made some good choices and so I bought this truck, worked it a little bit. This truck's now got about 900,000 miles on it, 800 and something thousand miles on it. Um, and this was the first truck that for me, I was able to do some stuff to. And uh, of course we've, you know, we joked about it, you know, yesterday being a lot, lot right 11.0, but it's, it's not really 11.0, it's probably five, <laughs> probably because, but, but here's the thing though. So, so, it's it's sort of like people's careers you just take a snapshot and you say boom you just you're right there but but what you don't realize is all the steps in in different like one year we did the interior one year we did the paint one year we stretched it you know for one of the first things we did was we stretched it and added a drop axle to it so there's five different stages of this build because it costs so much money like you can't justify it but if you do one piece at a time, kind of like, you know, that guy got that song out one, you know, one piece at a time. <laughs> yeah. Then you add it all up and you say, okay, well, I got this, you know, now I've got a complete project and it's, it's sort of, you know, I guess in its own way, uh, budget friendly. Uh, so no, that's great. Here's, man. here's where we are today. Yeah, no, but, it, it looks amazing, you know, but, uh, but yeah, it's got a uh, six NZ cat in it now with some, with some extra horsepower, uh, full custom interior. Look at that. Alcatara leather. This thing looks crazy, brother. 15,000 watt stereo, 30, I think it was 36 speakers in it. Oh my God. Can you pan back around and look at the amp rack behind you? <laughs> up, up and down. Oh man, look at this. So man, this is so motivating in a time that's so hard in life right now. So you started out with one truck. Started out with one truck that I drove. Old Brown FLD. You know, and M11. <laughs> M11. And from there, uh, how many uh, trucks do you guys have in your fleet now? So we're at about 375 uh, between Tri-State and Massey Motor Freight. Um, and, and, you know, that's, that's sort of why we're able to do some of the things. Uh, because we've got so many trucks because one truck doesn't make a lot of money. You have to be scaled way, way up to, to be able to afford. And this one looks uh, good right here. Is there anything else we need on this one? <laughs> it's blue. <laughs> it's blue? And chrome. <laughs> what the name means. Yeah, tell me what dust in the wind means, man. So, right here. Who is, it? Who is this man to you? So that's Dustin Dupree. That was our Peterbilt salesman great man as honest of a salesman as you will ever meet i never price checked him because he was always right he was fair now you have to keep in mind like you can't get stuff free they have to make a profit and but but you can be fair about it right so uh, this man was always fair uh we bought all our we were exclusive to him so this truck right here we specced out from the factory to build this but we didn't know it was gonna be this. You, you, you get what I'm saying? It, it we didn't know. His own thing. We didn't know what it was gonna be. So so Dustin and I spec this, you know, kind of gonna be show truck, and uh, and then he passed, and and so we took the truck uh, because this truck's actually a couple years old, even though it's only got 500 miles on it. Just we drove it up here. It's the only we think we've ever drove it. Um, so we put the truck up for a year with nothing done to it and trying to figure out what are we gonna do? And so we were sitting at lunch one day and we were like, well, we better figure out what we're gonna do with the truck before it gets too old uh, and, and sits up. So we came up with the name Dust in the Wind. 
to to uh, to honor Dustin the salesman. Um, Stephen and I sat there. Stephen just walked by. Stephen, I need you here for five seconds, brother. You know, um, Cheers, bro. I know, but I was telling him about how we came up with the name. You and I at lunch one day. Yes. Sir. Just and the name just came. So uh, so everyone knows Stephen Melanders. I don't, don't know and, about that. No, no, but. and if they don't know, please tell them. I mean, I want to start off by saying that I co-signed for this man right here. This man's a quality man, Appreciate and he's an extremely talented man. So Appreciate go ahead from there. Yeah, I mean, what am I supposed to say that? Social media brag, is giving some, brag, give us something. about the music and stuff. That's, you know, okay, I, so he I, does music. I do music for fun, man. You better, hey, hey, actually... You need to take that out because I'm being honest with you. You got a really good voice. I, I don't know if that's normal to say that to another man and walk nah, up to good. him, but I'm being real. Nah, you good, the fact that you're saying you just do music for fun, I'm telling you right now, I'm getting a little angry about it because this man does it for real. <laughs> He's getting angry about it. I have fun doing music then. You know, it's yeah. my creative deal. So and tell, them what, tell them where they could follow you on that because you represent it's all, and everything. Yeah, all Stephen Melanders, my name, S-T-E-V-E-N-M-O-L-A-N-D-E-R-S. Um, honestly, truthfully, like I had got out of music for a little while, and Troy kind of, kind of lit a fire underneath me and wanted. You got a, them cattle prods. He wanted, <laughs> he wanted a song for his trucking company, and at the time we weren't really, really that close, so I didn't know Troy was like a super huge rap fan, and uh, so I just wrote him a song that came to mind, and you know the creative process, and he loved it. And we joke about it, but he says that was my job interview. That was his job interview. <laughs> <laughs> so if y'all go, uh, just just go into any platform and look up Shift, and that's that's, that's the, the song. song yeah. That that was the job interview. So yeah. so it got him a good job. And then you know I came on as a driver and uh, night driver. Night oh, hauling no. hauling salt water. Night driver slip seat on so, Old Pleasant Hill Road. Uh, worst ever. <laughs> Potholes and, uh, big as a Volkswagen. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, honest truthly, you know, Troy, uh, Troy seen probably something that I didn't even really see, you know, and came to me and, and said, hey, I got this idea. I got this plan. I think you're perfect for it. You know, come by the house. Let's talk about it. And uh, that's kind of where all of this grew. And we were trying to get into it. And then we went to uh, another truck show and we got bit by the bug. And so that doing the record for Troy starting to get into the social media and the marketing and stuff with Troy and the trucking company is just kind of inspired to start writing more trucking records, uh, be more involved in the trucking community and just realize and how blessed and how grateful it is to be involved in this community and, uh, and to work for this cat right here, man. I mean, he's before being my boss, I consider him a very good friend of mine and we separate the friendship and business. But it, it, you know, sometimes, you know, it's yeah. like, ah, yeah. you know. And, but, you know, uh, no, that's important, man. And the big thing is, I mean, we're talking about this truck right now. And off off record, Troy said something very important that, you know, you want to say about the truck and uh, the timely matter and fashion that would have not have been done without this man right here. Yeah, so so uh, uh, let me go back to the name real quick because that's important. So we came up with the name Dust in the Wind. We and and it was just a bare bones truck with the paint flaking off because everybody knows if you buy a truck with I don't say the name if you buy a truck with a painted frame any other color than black the paint just just it just flies off, it just flies off. so we had this truck and it was nothing we came up with the name Dust in the Wind and and so the 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 funny thing is Lot Right was a lot of work. Yeah. I mean, it was so much work making everything work and flow together and and complement each other with the interior and the paint and everything. It was so much work. This one, it just happened. I mean, yeah. you hear about these these mega singers that go in and they like they write these just mega smash hits in four minutes flat, and it sells twenty million, you know, or fifty million or whatever. And that's this truck. Yep. We named it Dust in the Wind. It was automatically a cow truck. It was automatically, well, it was already factory long wheelbase 320. But uh, the the King Ranch, and, you know, it wasn't King Ranch, but it's styled. It was inspired. Inspired yep. by, so check out the leather. So this, 
this is all real cowhide leather interior and the, and the cool thing about it is this is a factory peterbilt interior yeah. we disassembled the whole truck tatum's tatum's upholstery out of houston texas is who did the whole interior and he's actually from our hometown he's moved he moved out to la he's done some pretty you know high-end celebrity cars and stuff like that moved back to houston first big truck he's ever done uh, the wood grain is hand painted because the factory wood grain just bland it was bland with this color tan mm -hmm. and so all the wood grain in the truck is hand painted um there's only maybe a handful of items in this truck that you can go in a store and buy and that's you know my pedals our you know the 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 knobs the shifter top because the shifter is aftermarket it's an sh2 shifter but it's been customized so the thing about the truck that's so awesome is there's nothing in this truck that's aftermarket because it's all stock but it's all been customized yeah. so you can't go get this you can't go get this from peterbilt because it's hand painted yeah you know and a steering wheel i mean it, Tatum's upholstery knocked it out of the park. Yeah. And he said, man, I, this is the first truck. I said, well, you better get ready because it ain't the last. <laughs> yeah, buddy. And this is, now this is a world premiere right here. Uh-oh, uh-oh. This is probably the Guinness Book of World Records. I, I say it is 3,000 starlights. Yes. And that's not exaggerating. It is I got to I see the pictures. I'm gonna put them up on them when. Uh, uh, yeah, we can't uh, touch the truck right yeah, now because don't we're, touch the truck. We're waiting to be judged. And, yep, but uh, I so have the video. You got it with them on. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the video because I've seen your videos of it. I'll, yes. Okay. Drop it in. So, though. so Troy and then while Troy and then were working on Lot Rot, and and some of the things were happening with Lot Rot and the whole build, uh, we had actually we make it a point to go to Rush every once in a while, and we film you know for our trucking with Troy right. or just whatever and. And we were over there and uh, looked at the truck. And we left and we were in separate vehicles and we called each other that day on the way home. Like as soon as we pulled out the parking lot, we we're like, there's no way, yeah. there's no way. I mean, it was just a frame and a cab, nothing. There was nothing on it. And, and, it, and it, you, it, can, it, you it, can pull that off of my social media yes. and drop it in there too. And so a couple of days went by and Troy called me with this idea. I don't know why he thought I could. But. I said, uh, hey man, I know you ain't never been a project manager, but uh, you're about to be project manager because we don't paint. We do a lot of fab work. Like, go back here. Let me show you some of this stuff, Alex. Like, we put the sleeper suspension underneath. We built this in our shop. We built this in our shop. We built the eye panel in our shop. So y'all doing a little bit. Come on now. We built the deck plate in our shop. Shaved all the frame bolts. You see there's no frame bolts. Yeah. We did all that in our shop. We built the hanger covers. You ever seen something like that? No, but I'm gonna start selling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so all that was built in our shop at the Stockville that's Customs. Good. That's no. all Stockville Customs. Justin yeah. Justin back in the Stockville Customs, he wasn't able to make it, but but I mean this he did that. That's all aluminum. And, uh, and, and, uh, and then I don't know if you can see it in the mirror, but yeah, we built the underbelly in our shop. I love it. Lights all in it. Yeah, buddy. It's looking good. Nah, hey. So it's it's a, this was a lot of fun. Uh, the, it was a team the, effort, though. The, you know, from, from Stockville, Tri-State, Massey Motor Freight, and Rush. Peterbilt out of Lufkin. I Rush mean, it was Lufkin. it was a it was a team effort. So I I, I joked at Rush Peterbilt because I, I worked over there for three weeks, and I kept telling them like I'm either gonna send a 10.99 or I need to find a time clock so so I can double dip. <laughs> <laughs> but I need to clock in over here. Just being there and working with those guys on this truck was special because of knowing the the meaning of the truck with Dustin passing, being a salesman there at Rush, yeah. those guys took light into it and really enjoyed the fact that we were, you know, dedicating something of this caliber to Dustin. And I think by us coming over and putting our hands on and getting yeah. dirty and doing all that with those guys, yeah. really, like, I'm be honest with you, there was a couple of them that I thought were jerks. And once we started working together, we realized that we were just alike and we, I mean, They've been calling. They've been wanting to know, man. We had laughed. They we had fun. On, they called up here and checked on us yesterday. And then uh, Dust, a different Dustin, the guy that did all the motor, he pulled the motor out, assembled all the chrome, and uh, and then put it back in. 
and and we wanted them to do that part we were perfectly capable of doing it we did it a lot right but for warranty reasons we we <laughs> warranty <laughs> we wanted rush to do it right yeah. and uh, uh and so he can't he's at the show now yeah uh, joseph davis wired all the lights up <laughs> yeah Chris Hooks did all the painting. Oh, he's a, uh, he's a collision, collision painter. painter. <laughs> look, like look at this paint. Look at this paint. Hey, look at, look yeah. at me. <laughs> he's a collision yeah, right, painter. Right? He That's says, a, I don't even know why I'm painting this truck. I'm not a show truck painter. Yeah. Yeah. I said, okay, you okay. might be after this. Yeah. <laughs> but it was fun, man. It was enjoyable. And I just, I told Troy even after the fact, when we got it all situated together, that I really was thankful for the opportunity to be such a big part of it. And then not only that, I got to drive it out here. You yeah, know? So. yeah. Right here now was the first one that, that, that you bought and built up, correct? That's correct. And then why is this one so important? Because this looks like some, some, some water tanker stuff. What's this, going on? So this is more of what we do. This is pretty much a typical, not the long wheelbase, but this would be more of, of what we, what our fleet is, I guess I should say. That's a real saltwater trailer. All, we ordered it from, we twisted the arm of the factory that makes these trailers and, and he built us this one. He said he'd never do another one. <laughs> but we left the scrubber pot off of it and we left the catwalk off. Oh man, but, so this uh, one means a lot to you because this is really what grew your business to what it is today. Yeah, so it, uh, unless you've never looked at social media, ever <laughs> this is bocephus i mean if you just google bocephus you think hank williams jr would come up but this truck comes up <laughs> that's the craziest thing go try it I'm, it's the craziest thing a picture of this truck or me will, will come up and so um so my grandpa called me bocephus growing up and and so naturally when we built this truck that was the first name that came to my mind bocephus oh yeah and uh uh, this truck, it's it's got some bumps and bruises on it now. We made a bunch of shows with it last year. We drove it everywhere. We went to Mobile to the to the drag strip at the end of show season last year. And and uh, now when we came to this show last year, the motor was leaking oil like crazy. We had we had gotten it uh, uh, fixed somewhere else. And uh, when we when we got back. We pulled the motor out and we totally in framed it, uh, out of framed it, <clears throat> and got it to where it was drivable. While it was out, we added some high performance parts to it for fun, and we put full lockers in the back. And and uh, so uh, the the point I'm trying to get at is we took it to Mobile to Brandon Arnold show down there, and we won the big belt. Oh at, yeah. You know. Well. Who, who, who won? Okay, here's the deal. <laughs> it was 90% the truck. <laughs> I mean, like, Alex, even you could win with this. <laughs> I appreciate I mean, you. <laughs> I mean, it's so much horsepower. <laughs> but it's fast. It, it's not the fastest truck on the road. I mean, there's a couple of guys out there, like Ricky Fenwick, that, like, I'm not even cranking my truck. That, Cause I'm gonna get embarrassed. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, I mean, you're good, man. No. So this is this is what really grew the business. Yeah. So so this you know this is this is the pride and joy. This is old Bo Cephas, and uh, we haven't done much to it since last year. It I don't know. We put maybe 60,000, 50, 60,000 miles on it last year, going to shows. So it's got some bumps and bruises where we've you know hit stuff we hit the fender there and and we wanted to show people i didn't want to touch it up i didn't want to fix it because i wanted people to see that this truck's out running it's a work truck it's not a work truck <laughs> but it's getting miles on it right i heard, that. I heard and, that and so and that means something to the guys in the show truck world because if you if you haul your truck to every show then i don't know it's it's a little inside thing. Yeah. So yeah. we drive them. We drove all these trucks up here. And uh, I drove the blue one most of the way. But I will say, a few hours back, I asked Bonehead if he wanted to drive it. <laughs> and I'm not ashamed of that because I'm going to tell you, I don't know what we did to that motor, but that is 
the loudest caterpillar I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> so, yeah, so I'm pretty sure that's not a cat in that truck. That's a lion. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. I love that, man. People yeah. love you, man. So, so, you know, it's like we got... We, so, now we got a porch light on the water trailer yeah and a porch light where it really belongs yeah what do you think about that i love it i love it i love it so we had your first truck we got we got one that you dedicated to a, a, a oh, friend yeah you, you and, got and this truck here that uh got you to where you are today the type of work that you do to get yeah. you to where you are today yeah.